You're watching Ghost 802. Zona Archery Enterprises, where excellence and innovation go into all that they do. The Archery Shack, for all your hunting and archery needs. White Tail Greens, food plots year round, family and veteran owned. Scent Blaster, get more scent out. The world's best wicking system for hunter. Nature's Voice Game Calls. The talk of the woods. See your sight and get more bonus rings. Veteran Innovative Products. Veteran owned and made in America. Hey, I'm Jeremy. Welcome to Archer Shack. Come on in. Then look no further. The Archery Shack specializes in archery sales, bow tuning and maintenance, custom bowstrings, arrow building and repair, archery lessons from beginning to advanced shooters, and also has an outdoor range. The staff takes great pride in getting your bow tuned and set up just for you. If you're looking to get into archery or need archery supplies, give us a call at 864-735-8484 or check us out online at www.archeryshack.com favorite scent with the all-new scent blaster you can continually disperse your favorite scent while it's silent fan natural wick and replaceable scent container do all the work for you for days put more muscle in your scent with scent blaster so folks welcome welcome to the new ghost 802 digs uh, in process in building we got power we got some heat we got uh pro staffer caleb sitting in here and and y'all know this guy on the other side of me, Shane. And then, of course, I'm the fox. And uh, we thought we'd do, a, it's, it's, it's winter here in Vermont, so we thought we'd do a quick uh, tips and safety tips uh, for the ice fishermen, or the ice fisherwoman, or the ice fisher people. However you want to, how do you have to say it nowadays? I don't know. I'm not even sure anymore. You folks out there, how's that? The fishing fellers on the lake, or? Fellats or? Fellers or fellats, there we go right people there. People put line through holes on the ocean, or not ocean, the lake. There you go, lakes and small ponds. So anyway, the first thing, folks, is to make sure somebody knows where you're going. Uh, back years ago when we had the old, then went to beep, 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 beep. Now everybody's got, you know, one of these things. Just make sure somebody knows where you're going. Um, let them know when to kind of, sort of expect you back. You know, for any of us that have done some fishing, there's always that one more cast. Yeah, beer at home, one more cast. <coughs> You'll learn that when you get older. So anyway, uh, but all seriousness here, make sure you got some safety gear. They, they got all kinds of fancy gear out there. Uh, they've even got suits now. They've got flotation devices. You pull a T-handle and it expands to keep your head above water. Uh, it's no joke, folks. That water is cold. Uh, Shane and I live in another world and are both ice rescue certified. Uh, it's no joke and it's no fun uh, when you're out there. Uh, so one thing we used to make back in the uh, 70s and 80s, uh, some of you might remember those years, uh, are ice picks. <clears throat> we used to take either an old broomstick or, or whatnot or even a, you know, in this case a block of wood, you know. Take it, make sure it's big enough for your hand to fit around decent. So a lot of broomsticks are almost too small. I like a big chunk of wood. What do you think? I agree. I like to make sure you got a good firm grip on it in case big, you need it. Big chunk of wood. You can take and cut it right in half for this one. Then take your drill and you drill down in. Spike. You can go to any hardware store, uh, your Lowe's, your Home Depot's. Even your big store marts probably got spikes. I like it so you got maybe an inch sticking out. It's probably good, wouldn't you think? Yep. Drill a hole, set that right down inside. And then you got to, if you don't have one, you got to borrow a hot glue gun. You got a hot glue gun? Yep, that hole's somewhere. That's good. Still hot glue gun. Stick your nail down in there and hot glue that sucker right even with the top. Let it harden. Well, well, it's hard then you can get your drill set up and I like to use, I like to take my arms and go like this, take a piece of string, decent string, about the size of your thumb, right? Yeah, you don't want to break it. You know, you don't want it to break and you don't <coughs> want it to burn the back of your neck um, when you need it the most. 
So there's all sides of the tips, make sure it's on the outside of the back of your flap of your jacket, and all the really good stuff. But uh, make it so it's a little bit longer than your width of your arms, because you're going to want to reach out in front of you. So when you're walking through the ice and you fall through, you can get something up there to pick and pull yourself up and out, or at least pull yourself up and holler for help. And maybe Caleb will come along and give you a hand or something. Somebody else out there fishing. So I take and drill a hole right through the side. Then I can run my rope through and tie a big old knot on it. Give it a yank. And you can get real fancy and hot glue gun that in there too. And then just throw it around your neck and let it hang. What a float. So you don't have to worry about it losing it if it does fall off your neck. Um, there's uh, fancy suits that you can wear to stay safe. I don't know the name of the company. Yeah, I can't remember the name of them either. But uh, there's, there's all kinds of fancy things you can do. But well, here at Ghost 802, a lot of times the basics work the best. And then when you got a young fellow like this and you're trying to teach him a little bit of ice safety and whatnot, it's it's nice to, it's it's nice they can do something with their hands <coughs> instead of just going to the store and buying them. Um, there's uh, again, forgive me, I don't remember the name. Uh, they're orange. They're spring loaded, so it's like this until you put pressure down on it. And then the sleeve slides back to reveal the spike. Um, but you can get all different types and brands, but again, you know, it's a little bit of pride to hand a young fella or a young lady that and, and make yourself a set and have them make some too. So there's that from the Fox for, for this week. And uh, you know, it's pretty cool tips and whatnot. And we got, uh, we got special guest stars here this time. That's right. So be safe out there. Catch some fish. Take your kid out. Dress them up. Let them know what a, what a bob house is. Let them know what a fish shanty is. Whatever you folks call it. Be safe out there. Check twice. Save a life. It could be yours. We'd like to thank all our sponsors below for continued support. We'd like to thank you. Don't forget to click that like button on the bottom. Subscribe. And most of all, tell a friend and take a kid out. You're watching. Go stay YouTube.